Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here, back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlogs. Still joined by Daniel, the end of Symbiosis, beyondthepoor.com. We're going to take a look at a, a sour beer. It's a collaboration between the brewery and Hangar 24. This is Ichigo Highway. This is what they describe as a sour red ale aged in red wine barrels with strawberries. What do you think? I say let's crack it up and see how it is. Five and a half percent EUD, but wow, I can smell. I, I'm getting aroma from here. Yeah, that's. But first, it's it's kind of a cloudy. I don't know. It's uh kind of amber into reddish. I'd say like a light mahogany kind of. Uh, uh, maybe a burnt orange, orange almost. Almost. Like a burnt umber sienna. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Almost no head. But yeah. Aroma. Strawberries. And some strawberries. And more strawberries. And, and maybe some strawberries. <laughs> and then some strawberries. Wow, this is intense. I haven't had a beer this strawberry forward since I had Cascade strawberry. I've never had a beer this strawberry. Whoa! Before. Can you smell anything else? I'm trying to pick up anything else. I'm getting a little bit of a funk. Um, a little bit of a mild funk. A little bit of a mild funk. I mean, it's not not aggressive at all. There's a little bit of a, like a vinous character to it. It's got that kind of generic funk. It's kind of hard for me to like like pinpoint it. I think yeah. there's just so much strawberry and there's so much of that sweetness kind of coming out. It's it's hard to say if that's a bread or if that's a straw or if that's a you know. It's just kind of like you can get it there. It's slightly musty. Musty. That's kind of the word I was. Yeah, looking at. it's yeah. like a musty character that adds to the it's really intensely strawberry though yeah. i'm not getting any like tartiness i'm not getting any of that like tart apples or tart cherries you know a little bit of wine but not much yeah. just all right let's dig in this is smelling good cheers definitely more tart on the taste oh yeah definitely more tart tons of that green apple um yeah almost like a like an apple cider vinegar kind of character, oh, yeah, but yeah. not over, not overly vinegary, but certainly the, that sort of character, but a milder kind of vinegar character. Yeah, that um, it's almost got a like an acetic acid, like an acetic little lemony, you know, yeah, yeah, lemony tartness, right? Lemons, um, really tart apples, um, yeah. getting some of that malt backbone, getting some of that like. Um, Almost a kind of weedy malt. Yeah, there's it's definitely hard, a weed. It's hard to kind of, you know, like pinpoint that. But. Sort of like that weedy, slightly citrusy kind of character. What's interesting is that the strawberry is mostly on the aroma. It's really not so much on the flavor at all. I get the strawberry mostly on the back end of the beer. You get that tartness up front. What you're saying, that like green, Granny Smith apple, mm -hmm. lemony tartness up front, and then the strawberry kind of comes in. Adds a touch of sweetness on the back end. That's funny. I'm getting it differently. I'm getting the strawberry on the tip of the tongue, and then once it's once the the kind of sourness and that acetic mm. vinegary thing kind of comes up, I really don't get the strawberry again until I smell it again. Until the end. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe briefly up front. I mean, strawberry is such a difficult fruit to work with with yeah. with a sour. You have to use so much fruit to get the flavor in there because obviously those sugars are going to ferment out by all the bacteria and yeast in there. So, right. The aroma is nothing but strawberry almost, but the, the taste could use some more strawberry, but I, I, I get enough of it to, to, for it to be there in the flavor. But there is other stuff going on, which does add to complexity. It's not just like it, we're just drinking strawberry juice. No, no, it's a hugely complex beer. I wish that added a little bit of more um, of a different fruit in it to give it a little bit of that flavor of a fruit, like some cherry or something, just to kind of balance out some of that acidity. Um, mm -hmm. That might be a personal preference, but, um, yeah. you know, I like it. Yeah, I think it's nice stuff. Um, not a lot of strawberry sours. I thought they did a pretty good job, so... To me, this is like an A minus type of beer. It it's it's really close to absolutely nailing what. Pro I don't know if they nailed what they wanted or not, but it it's got some good complexity. You know, I I wish it was a little more funky on the flavor too. Yeah. You get a little more of that musty funkiness on the nose, but this was a beer I wanted to open fresh, drink fresh while the strawberry character was was really present, and so maybe that some more funkiness will come out in the end, but. What do you think? Um, personally, I'm going to give this just a B. I don't think that it rises to the A level for me. 
Um, and that's just because I feel like for my palate at least, you know, the acidity and that, that sourness, that tartness overwhelms the other stuff that's in the beer and I would rather it have a little bit more of those um, a fruitiness or an oakiness or a tannic or something that kind of balances some of that acidity. Um, but it might just be that I just haven't had a lot of beers in this kind of caliber to, to adjust. I think it's well executed, I think it's well made, but you know, if you ask me honestly for my rating, I think it's a big okay. and yeah. But I still like, I admire it greatly for what it is. This is going to wrap it up for Ichigo Highway. Thanks to Jano for joining me. Uh, find his uh, reviews on YouTube. Into a symbiosis. You can find both of our stuff now at beyondtheport.com, all that fun stuff. And it's been fun shooting some reviews with him in person while he's on his honeymoon in San Diego. So, but yeah, check out this beer if you can get it. If not, you know, trade something for it if you want a really nice strawberry sour. So, drink fresh, drink local. Drink fresh, drink local. That's a, it's a good way to go if you have good local beer. So, all right, it's going to wrap it up. Cheers, Daniel. Cheers, Ryan. See you on another one.